Internet, welcome to another installment of uh, West Side with Velma. I think I just named these segments that right now. Um, we're gonna do ten questions with Riff and Velma. Riff and Velma. Just gonna ban yourself. With that video. Yeah. Um, okay. Question number one: You have to answer as Riff, not as Ian. Are we cool with that? Okay. What is Riff's favorite color? Green. Well, olive green. Okay. Velma's is purple, but she wears green because it's Riff's favorite color. Um, yeah. Um, what is Riff's favorite flavor of ice cream? He really, I don't know, I think he likes vanilla. But he no, likes, why? like, but he likes, like, chocolate sprinkles on his vanilla. Is, is there any And he is definitely, like, a like waffle like a, cone kind of guy. Yeah, like, definitely waffle. not in a cup, not in, like, a sugar cone, like, a waffle cone, vanilla ice cream, and chocolate sprinkles. Lit. Bone also likes vanilla ice cream, but, like, nothing on it. Like just vanilla. That's really boring. It's not boring, it's simple, it's elegant, just like Velma. <laughs> what is Riff's favorite activity to do with Velma? And you can't you can't say the obvious one. So other than the subtext that it's, it's in the script, really. It's basically you, in the you script. have to read the stage directions. It is. It's there. It's, it's there. It's yeah. there. What else do we do? We love to dance. We dance. dance a lot in the park to practice for our dance battles. Honestly, I like to think that every time Doc gets a new flavor of candy, you and I always go and get it together. Oh, that's nice. That was nicer that, that I thought you would have an answer to. Um, Velma's favorite activity to do with Riff is when we discuss the Jet Boys and <laughs> I give you the information that oh I get Oh my god, the all the shit talking. Yeah. What, is, what is your favorite moment this not being riff with me in the show that we have together. Now that we have it, the helicopter lifts a hell of a lot of fun. It's a little suspect every single night, but it's still yeah, exciting. Yeah, but it makes it interesting and dangerous. Um, I have two favorite moments. One is our handshake. In the oh circle. my god, yes, absolutely. I love to do that. And then the second one is the wink in cool. Oh yeah, when I, I like turn around too. and I wing. Yeah, that's not for you guys to know. That's just me and Val's characterization. Yeah. Okay, I think that was four. What is... Riff's biggest fear? Having nothing. Having no nothing. That's his whole motive. That's his whole motivation. Like, I don't like to think that Riff started being racist. It just sort of, like, developed because the person who he hates and is trying to take away the one thing... Let's start from the beginning. Okay. The only thing that belongs to Riff, because he doesn't have a family, he doesn't have a home, the only thing that belongs to him is his gang and his street. And he hates Bernardo, not because Bernardo is Hispanic, but because Bernardo is trying to take that street away from him, and then it develops into a racial hate because it turns out everybody trying to take the street away from him is also Hispanic. Where do you live if you don't have a home? Um, Who do you I live, live with? on Tony's couch. Oh. We didn't have. Well, you stay with me sometimes. Yeah, from time to time. Do you want to hear my my new story for us? Um, no. Can you, well, I find can you? out at the end that I'm pregnant with Riff's baby. <coughs> But Maria is also pregnant with your baby, oh, and the only way that we ever get over, that I ever get get over prejudice is, wow. is our babies become friends later. Like when wow, that is Tony is like hyper fertile. You have sex once <laughs> and you got her pregnant. West Side Story moms. That's gonna be the sequel. W S S M. Having sex on stage is guaranteed to make you more fertile. I'm telling you. Uh, moving on. What is some What is something that you've thought of for Riff that includes me that you haven't told me? I just told you mine. Came Wait, up with that how do you day. find out if you're pregnant that you're pregnant with my child within a day of me dying? No, I don't find out Plot then. Holes. Plot holes. Just listen, I don't find out at the scene. I find out recently after. Yeah. When I'm like twelve you guys days had late. Sex before the show. We had, oh yeah. During. Oh yeah. You still use before. You know what True. I mean? I don't know. I think you're the first girl I've ever taken seriously, but I still don't take you terribly seriously because I still take the gang more seriously than you. Understood. But I'm happy I'm I'm halfway there. That was six, seven. If if Velma dis died instead of you, um, what would be your reaction? I'd be sad for about a week. Who kill? All right. So who kills you? Who one kills of the you? one of the men. Um, who then they you? die. I kill them. Indigo. Indigo kills. Indigo. Indigo. Great. So then, yeah. So then I kill Indigo. But like, would you be sad? A little bit. Or, yeah. Or, or would you immediately go with like Grotz or Minnie? No, it would take a little bit. First, I'd have to kill Indigo. Who is Riff's favorite gang member? Vlad and Tony. If Riff were still alive, 
Where do you see Riff and Velma going in the future if you didn't die? Why is it all relationshipy shit? It's um, 12 questions with Riff and Velma, not just 12 questions with Riff. It's gotta be about us. <laughs> if Riff did it's not, not just that. about you. I don't know, it depends on if I die in another gang fight, too. Okay, so what are your thoughts? Well, does Bernardo die, too? What if that whole rumble didn't happen? What the if, whole like, rumble no thing didn't happen? showed up? No one showed up, okay. <laughs> yeah, what if, like, um, Tony and Maria got married? And then successfully. Successfully. And you were his best man. Yeah. Maybe after then I'd be like, okay, maybe this could work. But I don't think Riff is like the like, yeah, let's get married kind of guy. Well we don't have to get married, I was just curious. I think they I think that I think they hang out for a long time. I think they're chilling for a long time. I I mean, but I'm still pregnant. Yeah, you're still Oh fuck, that's right. I forgot about that. So do we get married or do we not get married but we still raise this child or we we just raise this child together. That's what I mean. We just raise this child together. We wouldn't get married. That would not be a thing. It's a boy, by the way. Cool. What's his name? I don't know. Everyone That's our next question. I'm taking. Okay. I'm hijacking a question. Okay. What's our, what's our what's child's, the child's name? name? Um, I have sure. a question for um, Riff and Val. Okay. Actually, Bring it more in. towards Velma. Okay. If let's say Tony and Maria were to get married, do you could you see yourself being friends with Maria? Well, not. Uh, I, I I I would follow his lead because okay. we like plan out our prejudice together. Wait, we never named our kid. Shit. What would you name it if he passed away? And, and what if, would we name, name it together? It, yeah. Okay, well, yeah. if he passed away, I feel like I would name him your, whatever your real name is. Junior. Why don't you name Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What is your real name? <laughs> what is my riff name? My riff name. <laughs> <laughs> well, name. I would name the child whatever your real name is, Junior. What would we name the child together? I feel like it, it would just be a nickname. Like, we wouldn't even start with a real yeah. name. It'd be, like, just Junior. A junior. Yeah. I feel like that would be a Riff and Velma child name. Junior. Yeah. And then it would end up having the same nickname because if I if I named it when he's dead, it would be what so-and-so God? Junior. And it's then if junior. we named it together, it would be just Junior. So then and you call him Junior the whole time. Some so. people, like, fate. name them Junior. I feel like that was, like, eight or nine, but um, I have to go on stage. Yeah. So we're just going to, whatever I'm having the number, I'm going to num- watch this and then do the numbers, and there's going to be a number on the screen right there. And then, um, <laughs> so thank you for um, tuning in to however many questions with Riff and Velma about <laughs> Riff and Velma. you have my jacket for the final scene? I do. Say goodbye. Bye, boys. Bye, boys. When I touched your penis, <laughs> yo, today? Tony grabbed my dick when I was dead on stage. It you happened. It was fine. What the fuck, Wesley? <laughs> oh my god, could you just let me think for one minute? Jasmine, do you want to be in it for a second? Come say hi. Hi. Jasmine did my boob contour. Yeah, I did her boob contour. She did. Jill and Jennifer, I don't know, I just made it <laughs> They change names. They change day. names every day. Yeah, They're a different person. Ten questions. Okay, let me intro this video. Okay. Hello, internet. Welcome to another installment of... I keep looking at you because you're here. <laughs> Welcome... Okay, I'm going to try this again. Um, do, 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 oh, I'm so do, 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 Sorry. Hmm. Um. Your child? Um. I... <laughs> um, let's see. I think it's funny. Wow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we did it. Oh, fuck, we did it. Okay. Every night.